What's up guys and gals and welcome back to the Nerd Castle for the next episode of Stalker Shadow of Chernobyl. My name is Splattercat and I'm happy to have you here today as we hang out for a little while and hopefully navigate this big ass field over here. I don't know exactly, I mean, that looks really really threatening so from where I'm sitting it might be a better plan just to clock out for a couple hours and see what happens. I'm gonna cancel that out like always. Okay, so that got us to morning, and so now we have a much, much better lay of the land. We can figure it out. So it looks like this is some kind of running track or some kind of race track. I hear snipers over there. I don't know if we're the ones being shot at or how this is gonna go down. But there are a lot of nasty critters out there, and I don't think that I wanna be near them. So, rather than become one of their victims, what's going on over here? Guy getting eaten by some dogs. Great. The things you see in the zone are the things you see in the zone that you can't really stop to rationalize. Just a guy getting ripped apart by a dog. That was probably the most uncomfortable scene I've ever watched in my entire life from Django Unchained where they feed the guy to the dogs. Like, ugh, that was a nasty scene. That thing was brutal. You guys don't want to come over here. I'm not bothering you. They look like they have rocket launchers, which makes me nervous. And if they don't have rockets, maybe that's, yeah, we got this right here. Why don't we just use it? It's all weird and shaky right now, but I think I can make this work. Just die already. I don't feel like being sniped right now. Oh, we're out of ammo. Well, that'll fix it, won't it? That'll fix it. Let's get back to the FN, and I'm going to see if I can get enough cover to take this guy out from this side. Am I supposed to be going down and in here? It looks like there is sort of an underdwelling place right there, and you'll forgive the game for, as usual, deciding that it needs to take a little break. I'm not even so sure he's aware of us right now, but that makes my life easier. Who cares? And then we get to go beast hunting with a rocket launcher, which is my favorite part. Yeah, running bleachers, that brings back memories of me when I was... I used to be really, really overweight. Like, I used to be quite heavy, and so I used to run bleachers to get back into shape. That reminds me right there. That's going back. Get rid of him real fast before he knows what happened. You got ammo to go with this thing? Oh, you've got a rocket. He's got a rocket. This guy came prepared. See, that's why I like you, amigos, because you came prepared. Is this already loaded? Let's find something to hunt with this thing. We've got a rocket launcher. We have to use it. We made it all the way to this point of the game. And finding a rocket launcher now and not using it would be some kind of crime against the universe. There's nothing to shoot, though. This guy over here, I don't even know what happened to him. He's just... The hell? I'm a satanic chicken over here. I think he's just stuck in the wall or something. He's got another rocket though, and I want it, so there it is. We'll get rid of the railgun because we don't have room for it. We'll probably get rid of the Guardian of Freedom suit's pretty wrecked up. I like the way it looks, but I'm tired of being overweight, so we'll probably just ditch that over here. I don't even care about it that much. I think we're getting pretty close to the end of the game anyways. If I can get a couple more rockets, I'd be happy, though. Huh? Yeah, throw me another rocket. I'll take your medication, too, because getting irradiated, it happens a lot in this game. It's like around every single corner, I'm just like rubbing my face against radioactive material. All right. Let's be very, very careful. Still don't really know where I'm going. Ah, and so, you guys don't know what just happened right there, but there was a zone transition, which was all kinds of special, because I wasn't really expecting it. So now we get the chuggery out of the way. I kind of wish that I spoke. Hey, somebody's shooting back there? Hey, stop. You stop that right now. I'm going to shoot back. That's right. God, that spread right now. There we go. Make him do a happy little flying jiggy dance right there of death. So now that he's out of the way, they are monolith after all. You gotta figure that they live some portion of their life with a lot of guilt about being monolith. And so eventually when they die, they're just like, yee -hee! And they get all excited about it. I would kill to be able to speak Russian right about now. I don't know if I've brought that up before, but you stop shooting at me. I shoot you back. Okay, so more AS valves and bullets right there. Sounds like there's helicopters. Around. Oh, no. What are the Okay, so looks like they are hell firing the hell out of the tarmac over here. Let's shoot this guy. Oh wow, what do we do about this? I don't, we're gonna need more rockets. 
Can I even shoot those down? Oh good, we're irradiated now too. That's even better. Insult to injury. Thy name is Stalker. Alright, well let me get in behind this. Oh, they're hanging fools up in here too. Fantastic. Helicopters, hellfire missiles, hangings. What other H-related words could be brought in on this? God. Oh, well, explosions. I couldn't think of anything explosive. Are there any words that start with H that represent explosions? I don't think there are. Hexplosions? I don't know. You can kind of move it. Is that helicopter over there getting... I think that helicopter over there is stuck in an anomaly. Oh, man. Oh, my God. They have a tank? Okay, so it appears as though they have an APC, which really, really, really makes me just want to lay down and hide and hope that nothing terrible happens here. Can I get him? Come on. Ah, he's too far. I don't think I'll make that shot. It'll be a waste. And I also run the risk of waking the sleeping beast. And by sleeping beast, I mean flying beast. Oh, look, somebody else did it for me. So there you go. Job accomplished. That's what happens when you're lazy. Other people do it for you. That's what Splattercat learned in Stalker. So, I should probably leave this location. But it looks like there's like a full-scale land siege taking place over here. Like, oh my god. At least the helicopters aren't interested in me. That's the only part that I can really telegraph right now is that it could be worse. They could all be shooting at me. Instead, they're shooting at my enemies. So, that's good. The enemy of my enemy and all that. Quick save just a second ago just to make sure that that takes place. Because I've got a bad feeling. Oh, there's a hole in the fence. That's pretty cool. Oh, man, that thing's putting rounds on me. Damn. Fine, then. I'm going to hide in the trailer park. That's right. Welcome to my trailer of solitude. Let no bullet fly through the trailer of solitude. I mean, they can fly out. They just can't fly in. Let's get one thing straight. If you shoot into the trailer of solitude, there will be some serious consequences and repercussions. So just bear that in mind. You get out of here. There are so many around you. Yeah. And hit fire to death. How do you feel right now? You just got dealt with. I don't have an op, but I was going to make an op reference right there, so whatever. Well, I don't see the helicopters. So that's cool. It does look like there's a fairly serious engagement to be had. We got a misfire that needs to be taken care of. Grenades, so let's get the hell out of here. Ow! My fanny has been riddled with flechettes. I'm going to hide behind this big red brick building. You don't, you don't care about me, do you, helicopter? Do you care about me? Do you really want to hurt me? Do you- Ah, sniper! Ah, misfire! This gun. Ow! Explosions! My vision is so- Really? I think I may have picked the wrong spot to take cover. This might be problematic. Stop that bleeding. There we go. A couple of well-applied band-aids here. Peaky peaky. Ah! Okay, so somebody with a rocket launcher over there is trying to annihilate me. Forgive my manly noises as we go through the battlefield here, but you know what? Somebody who's shooting rockets at you, you'd make the same noise. I don't deal with this very well. These stimuli are not things I am accustomed to. Oh, dude! No! Well, I got brave right there, and unfortunately, brave and stupid overlapped, and I ate a rocket to the face. Seriously debating. God, there's so many noob tubes around. You, I'm going to punish you for the transgressions of your brothers and their noob tubery. All right. So do we peek out? We're kind of stuck right now. I sort of just want to watch this happen, but I don't know if they're just endlessly respawning or... Eh, let's leave. Yep, don't want to be... Oh, there's two of you back here. I don't want to be around you. There's one on our left. Yes, I shall shoot you as well. He's just jealous anyway. You didn't shoot any bullets at me. You gave all of those wonderful bullets to all of my friends, and you never shot me with any of you two. Bullet distribution service by Splattercat. I think this business is going to thrive, especially in this environment. All right, so we're hiding behind a trailer again. Awesome. It's just like being 13. Arr! People shooting at me, hiding behind trailers. I'm not going to say my neighborhood was rough. No, I'm just joking. I'm just messing around. I didn't grow up in a trailer park. Let's see. All right, there's a guy on the right. He's peeky, peeky, sneak. I'm going to hide in here. Ha, ha, you want to peek? The hell is a blowout? Oh, man. Okay, so I'm just going to hustle this one through. Let's just go for it. We're going to go all in. Chips to the center of the table. I'm going to try and get off to the side because the center area seems to be a lot more dangerous than all the outlying ones. That glowing is really sort of throwing me off right now, though. Ugh. My vision is obscured. I am offended, sir. Oh, good. There's more hell. Oh, point blank bullets to the side of my head. Just keep running. Just keep running. Ah! Okay. We got this. We got this. Let's keep going. 
Oh, we've got this so covered right now. No, 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 no. Mm. All right. Oh, you... It jibbed me afterwards. Okay, well, let's give this another shot. It appears as though running down the road towards the exit and hitting an anomaly was not the right plan. So let's jump back in here. Oh my god, we're already under fire. Okay, so that's good. You know, honestly, I'm just gonna go for it. I think that hustling this one out is probably the best way that I can finish this off. I don't know how many enemies there are around here, but it seems like there's more than enough to take me out. Get him real fast, and then we'll dig in behind the rocks here. See, the rocket launchers have way too large of a radius. Like, I was way out of the way of that rocket that guy fired, and you still take damage. Like, I feel like no matter how far away you are, you take damage from rockets no matter what. All right, well, let's go. We don't really have much of a choice. I took a minute and I rebound a bunch of my stuff so that I can use my med kits while running. I think that having a lot of endurance right here is going to be the best way to go, and hopefully if we don't have to stop off to fight anything, we should be able to make it to the opposite side without too many problems. So let's keep trucking here. Ow. Oh, that chug at the perfectly orchestrated time. Keep running, keep running. Go, 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 go. Got too much radiation over here to stop. Way too much radiation. Pretty soon, yeah, I was going to say, they're going to try and chop us to bits with a helicopter right there. Unfortunately, we can't really... Uh, keep going. Looks like our exit's over here on the right. Which means that we definitely need to be in there like five minutes ago. Got a misfire. I'm just going to hide out back here. Oh my god. He point blank rocketed us. I hate those rockets so much. We are bleeding right now. Where's that chopper at? Right there. On the plus side. Hey. Equip. On the plus side, he's sort of sitting still. Of course, when we take the rocket launcher out, he moves. I would like a tostada as well. Pretty sure he just asked for a super dank tostada in Russian. Well, what are you going to do? Got that sniper on the hill over there. Taking shots at us. This guy's blocking our doorway. And he got a grenade out just in time. Another first aid kit down. There is a straight stupidy dupity amount of gunfire going on right now. Oh my god. Wow. Quick save. Unfortunately, I need ammunition, so I'm going to have to risk my ass here. Can you shoot down one of the helicopters? I'd love to try. That thing over there, he's doing a wheelie in a helicopter. Now you're just showing off, man. Now you're just showing off. Let's get the rocket launcher. Let me see if I can kill one of these helicopters. Or one of you assholes. Oh, that didn't even... Oh, we got to keep going. Never mind. We don't have time for these shenanigans. We got, like, time till blowout and all kinds of crazy stuff happening. Okay, so where do I go from here? What do I do? What do I do? So what's going on here? Oh, there's another area. Hooray! Alright, so we're inside. It looks like we made it past that last part, and if anything is an indicator here... This is probably about to get a whole lot more miserable. I don't know, that last little section was nasty. It totally sucked. I hear a lot of Geiger counter going on. Are we gaining radiation right now? What the hell is that? Alright, well, let's get on top of getting rid of some of this radiation first. No, I don't want that. I'll go with... That gives you less bulletproof cap. I don't know what I should go with right now. Let's go with an endurance so we don't have to worry about that. Electrical shock's not going to be an issue in here. 
Anything that gets rid of radiation is my friend. We don't have a lot of supplies left. I don't know. We may have to muscle this one through. I think I see something. I do. The shine of his helmet down there. I don't know what he was up to, but I can reasonably assure you it was probably no good. Gauss rifle. Gauss rifle rounds. Okay. Got him a couple times, but I don't know if it was effective. Got him. There we go. There's another one down. It's getting really, really intense. I don't know if you've realized this, but this is getting a little out of control. It's another one down. I think we got him. Yeah, it looks like he's down. Couple to deal with here. We may need to swap guns. Let me... I'm going to put that right there along with all the rockets just because the weight is too high. Is he just saying the same thing over and over? Like, what's going on with this guy? I don't know what's down there. Is there anything in here? Wait, I think I see a gas... Yep, gas mask. Got a misfire already. See two gray dots, so we got him. It's saying the shooter's lined up with us, but I don't see him. There we go. Another one bites the dust. Flashlights come on from the right. Is there anything out to the left? Let's find out, shall we? If we can flush somebody, I'd appreciate it. I get my health back up by eating and using whatever band-aids I have. Radiation appears to be pretty bad in this spot. Did I get that guy? Can't tell if I got him. I hope I did. Hell? I don't know if maybe you want to get him at some point. You know, just like one or two rounds. Just put him out there. Just let him know what's up. Gun is in okay condition. Not in like amazing. Stocking up on ammo for the future because I don't think we're going to come across a whole lot of NATO in here. Obviously, check corners, try and make sure we're safe. I don't know what this guy's doing. It's like tweaking. Grab the weapon repair kit, obviously. Little pile of bodies over here. I think there's still another one in there, because I can see a flashlight reflecting. Need your ammo, pal. Take the spaz. Actually, get rid of the gauss rifle. The spaz will be more useful in here anyways. There we go. Now we got guns. Got backup weapons. Current shooting gallery appears to be very, very empty. I'm going to go ahead and give it an auto save right here. Just see if I can make it through here. I don't know. This place is getting intense. I like it scared somebody. Yep, come down my stairs. Come down my stairs and see what happens. If I ever mentioned how much I strongly dislike this corridor, it's nothing personal. It's just kind of a creepy, terrible place to be engaged in a gunfight. In fact, I may try the spaz in right here. That reload time, though. You better hope it one-shots him. That's all you can say about that.
Alright, so the spaz is not the way to go. Let's grab something a little bit different and see if it can work a bit better, because this guy's got us camped up here. Oh, he moved. Well, good for him, I guess. I don't know. Another one down. Another one down. I don't know if he had a real gun or what the hell he had, but it was scary. It was scary and it looked like it wanted to hurt me. I think if we can just keep our radiation low enough here, we should be alright. And then go for headshots, because obviously we're out of armor-piercing rounds. All these guys have exoskeletons and whatnot too, so... It's going to be troublesome to pick through them. Yeah, I mean, with body shots, it looks like they can take almost a full clip. Which, in that case, is no wonder the buckshot doesn't appear to be doing much. God, it's definitely one of those, like, hold your breath and hope situations. Yeah, because if that happens right there while you're coming up the stairs, they got you pinned. You're just basically sitting there. Getting ready to be blasted in the face. I don't feel good about that engagement either. Ew. This is trouble right here. With a capital T. I hope I got that guy. I didn't. He made it out. Son of a bitch. It looks like the AI gets confused when they come through this doorway, like they don't know what to do. Because they aren't cracking off a whole lot of shots. Luckily, it puts them right at head level for me, though. So from my corner of the peanut gallery, this is looking pretty good. Nothing up top. Is that everybody? How's that radiation looking? Radiation is looking great. Awesome. Yeah, I figured somebody with a spaz would try and come up in here and take my ass out. Camp in that corner. This guy. The other problem is that you trip when you go over the stairs. Part of me sort of wants to go up high, but god damn, look at all these bodies in here. Like, what do you even do with all this? Like, it's a mess. Okay, we got somebody right there. Done fished him out of his hidey hole. Oh, this hallway is hosed. Get everything I can off these corpses. In addition, this might bring some of them to us. Oh my god, that scared the hell out of me. Okay. So it looks like we're gaining radiation for once. Let's eat some food. If we can't get out of this hallway, though, we're not going a whole lot further, that's for sure. Not to say that this one's any safer or less likely to kill us, but... Shit. That ladder. It looks like we're on the right level right now. I just don't know, though. I just don't know. These little hallways back up and in here are actually really, really concerning. Because you see you stick when you go over those little stairs right there. And so unfortunately your mobility is really, really hampered when you go up in there. 
Looks like we got a big room right here. Anything that we want? Found the wish granter. The hell is a wish granter? It's weird because I don't really feel like I found anything here. Where is the wish granter? Like in the cutscene, it was up on the hill right here, but I don't see it. It looks like it wants me to go somewhere. Maybe somebody got here first and took it and that's what it's implying? <laughs> Hell if I know at this point. I'm so flustered and having so much trouble like... This area is messed up. Well, don't fall down the ladder, man. That's not a good plan. We should also probably quick save right up in here. Hey, is that an exosuit? Because we could use it. Yeah, buddy. Alright, so now we got the exo, so we're actually on even ground for once. Still got to go for headshots, though, because we don't have AP rounds left. So take from that what you will. Still. The NATO right there. Door's locked with a code. Am I overweight right now? Or do you just, you're not able to sprint while you're in this? Oh, you can't sprint while you're in an exosuit. Okay. Well, that could make life a little bit confusing. Still, is there anything over here? No. Can't flick any of those switches. What in the hell is going on? I am so confused right now. Like, there is very, very little that is holding me together. So the wish granter's in here. What is it saying this is right here? Like, what is our objective? So we're not even above ground right now, but... I didn't see the wish granter in that room, so... Maybe we'll have to go back in and look at it again. I don't know. Damn, we killed a lot of people. I'm gonna get rid of the spaz, because it kind of sucks. This guy's giving us the butt one last time. One last time. I can respect that. I can respect that. One last token of disrespect towards an enemy. I feel you. I mean, I don't really know. Now that I can't sprint, though, the game feels a lot slower. I'll say that. Maybe I'll swap the suit in whenever, like, I get into a fight or something. I don't know. But this right now, I need to move. I like being mobile. I like being able to sprint. Losing your sprint ability sucks. What is that right there? Ah, there it is. So we have this room right here. I don't know if we got like a bug right here? Or what happened? Oh, there's a ladder. Okay. So now that we got the ladder, I didn't see the ladder on the wall. Alright, well up we go. Hopefully it out of the radiation. Just keep on trucking. Is this all a hazmat zone? Okay, it's all a hazmat zone. Well balls. If I can work my way over some of these bricks and whatnot. What the hell is that? Am I overweighed now? I am. It's because I'm carrying around an exo with me. Drop the nades. Drop the nades. Use another one of you guys. Oh, no. We're good. Never mind. I don't need to do that. Well, 
Definitely can drop the bulletproof AK rounds. Don't need those. Can definitely drop the Gauss rounds or the Goss rounds or whatever the hell you want to call them. I don't know if I should use that on like this kit is one use only and fixes your most damaged items so probably the barrel is what will get healed right there I don't know how exactly am I supposed to walk into this thingy over here let's test it this is probably gonna suck and it's probably gonna kill us like everything else in this game let's find out Oh, it's a teleport. There's some portal action on in here. Can I fall through that hole right there? Oh, I can. Loverly. Just what I always hope for. What's weird is the healing barrel does not actually heal you from what I can tell. Like, it might make some of your healing items better, maybe? I don't know. Let's teleport again. I could do this. I believe. So this time, I was wondering if there was a clipping plane on that entire thing. I should have known better. Over to the other side. Jumping's a little clumsy in this game. You'll have to forgive me. This looks semi-promising. Can I climb that? No, I can't. I figured it would want me to go this way. It looks like you're supposed to go this way. Still no idea what the Wish Granter does, so this might be a terrible plan. Oh, balls. Oh, good. We're still on the same plane. All right, I was gonna be like, that is whack. No, I do not accept this. Hey, what's up, wish-granting portal of Satan? How's it going? What? I want to be rich. That didn't go over well. Something tells me we got the bad ending. My name is Splattercat. Thank you for joining me here. That's going to be the end of our series on Stalker Shadow of Chernobyl. I want to thank you all for being here. I appreciated it. It was a lot of fun, and I finally finished the game. Oh, my God. That's the greatest thing ever. I will see you all later. Hi-do out there, everybody. I have no idea what's coming next, but I'm sure it'll be awesome. See you there.